जय हिंद एवरी वन यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू दिस स्पेशल सेशन ऑफ द पेट्रोटिक आई एस वेयर वी विल डिस्कस इश्यूज दैट स्टूडेंट आर फेसिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द यू पी एस सी एज वेल एज यू पी पी एस सी ओके सो वेदर यू आर नॉट एबल टू अलाइन योर शेड्यूल और यू आर नॉट यू आर कन्फ्यूज विद द वट आर द करेंट अफेयर्स आई नीडेड टू कवर एंड वट आर द मैनेजमेंट टाइम मैनेजमेंट वी नीड टू डू वी ऑल विल ऑल दिस इशू विल बी डिस्कस इन दिस क्लास लेक्चर सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद दिस बेसिक क्वायरीज दैट आई हैव रिसीव फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स दिस बेसिक क्वायरीज लेट्स ब्रिंग दोज बेसिक क्वायरीज Uh, it is start with the how to plan the remaining 103 days for the upsc and yes 33 days for the uppcs beside that how to align your uh, our upsc with the uppcs okay how to um, how many mock tests i need to appear before the upsc prelims okay and uh, what are the resources we need to refer so resources whatever resources you have refer till now please put trust in that we will discuss also if you have not covered so how you can manage that beside that what should be the duration of the current affairs means it should be for the last 12 month so what should be the duration from the uh, it should be of the last 3 years 2 years 1 years what is what should be so we will discuss as well then if i have covered monthly current affairs affairs so i do do i need to go for the pt365 as well so here we will discuss it as well then if i have done nothing with the current affairs what what i should do beside that when i should uh, when i should stop reading newspaper should i stop it one month before the examination two month before or i should be continue till the examination all that will be the discuss within this class lecture and i will speak a bit to uh, faster so that i can complete the session in a stipulated time so please be concentrated be patient for the uh, uh, few means near about for its uh, the session will go around 40 to 45 minutes i will try to com combine in that okay if you still have some confusion some doubts you can ask your uh, doubts and query at the this uh, a link that has been given for the telegram channel also you can Uh, you can uh, this link will be provide uh, provided to uh, 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 it will provide you to the source material whatever the this uh, all the chart i am using it will be available at the this telegram channel so you can join this telegram channel beside that uh, if you have any doubt you can ask at this info at patriotic is dot in so let me increase the this okay so i think this is visible info at patriotic is dot in beside that uh, you can also send at this email id amit gupt 2603 at the rate of gmail.com so a m i t g u p t 262603 at gmail.com this is my email id so this i hope this is visible okay so let's start with the cut off what has been the cut off of upsc so the cut off of upsc for the last 6 years uh, in 2023 it was expected the uh, marks is still has not been declared it was expected that 82 to 83 marks was there it could be the it could vary before that it was 88 marks before that it was 87 marks before that it was 92 marks and in 2019 it has been 98 98 okay this has been the cut off mark okay is it visible to you yes i hope visible this document will be provided to you so yes this has been the cut off so if this is the cut off how i should proceed this question must have been uh, in your mind okay so all this will be discussed with respect to the what i uh, what my own experience has been and after the analysis of the question paper of the last 6 year let me show you those question paper okay so see this is the question uh, paper of 2023 in this number of the history question has been near about 13 2 5 plus 2 7 and here 2 6 plus 7 13 okay 
then economics tuition has been 14 environment 16 geography 13 international relations 6 polity and governance 14 science and technology 6 so this has been the major chunk of the question then current affairs after that 2022 4 plus 6 this uh, we will consider this ancient history art and culture as well as medieval and modern under this 4 4 8 plus 6 14 so this has been the uh, continuously the ratio has been uh, more or less remain the same okay so you can see and all this analysis after that i have divided the days for the each of the topic the major topic seven major topic are there uh, these seven major topics start with the polity environment geography science and technology economy and this history part this is the major topic and remaining the current affairs okay so this will be that beside that uh, it will be on the my own experience i have qualified for the four times let you show the marks marks has been always more than 10 percent or uh, 10 marks from the cutoff so it was 115 in 2015 prelims in 2016 it has been 113 14 year about then it was 115 16 15.3 and this year also i was there my name was there uh, this year and this is my admit card of this year because the marks has not been uh, announced till now so just it is my marks and this is my roll number 849484 okay so this is uh, just to show that yes i have the experience i have faced all this thing so i can understand the perspective of the student i will discuss all my uh, discussion on this basis or as a considering myself as a aspirant just a aspirant who have lot of confusion and how could it could be resolved okay so i saw all this thing just this year i appeared for to know the pattern of examination uh, how it is turning because already i um, I was uh, giving my uh, prelims in the 15, 16, 17. So this year it was just to see that, yes. And this is not to show that, yes, my, this is my uh, result. This is so that, yes, if I can do, you can also do. Okay, beside that, many person who claim that, yes, they are qualified here or there, but they never show their result. So whenever um, someone is claiming, you should be, you should know the truth as well. Okay, so that the credentials should be there. So this will be the basis of our discussion. So let's start with the topic. Yes. So we have how many days? 17 days in the Feb, 31 days into the March, and April 30 days. Total in the May 25 days, total 103 days. Okay. And for the PCS, we have the 17 days in the Feb, 16 days in the March, and year about overall 33 days. So the confusion the first confusion i will discuss whether i should stop this upsc preparation should i focus on totally on that the, the answer is no if you are preparing for the upsc your 70 percent of the syllabus of the up pieces is also covered because the major area this polity history geography environment economics all that comes under the this as well but uh, only thing is that this is the factual a bit this is conceptual so whenever you are going to conceptual area you have clarity you can also solve the factual area there will be no issue so please don't worry you have to consistent with the both just you need to devise in a uh, divide all this preparation in a proper manner okay so we will divide this preparation in two phase main focus will be upsc you have to clear the upsc if you reach that level this level will be easy if you are able to reach the upsc level uh, then uppcs level will be that so if you have cleared in the polity history and uh, economics all these area at that level this up uppcs will not that much difficult so you should be focusing on that it will be taken care of. only you have to add something okay so two phase of the preparation one phase will be the first uh, study first revision and after that mock test so it should be given 83 days second phase will be the multiple revision you will be completing all maximum 20 mock tests and all the syllabus with the revision by the this days these days are for uh, to ensure that whatever you have the weakness you have done with the those you have covered so this will be the thing okay so first phase second phase up pcs only one phase will be there it will be the uh, 33 days one go you have to go 
just you have to divide whole of your plan in the four parts okay so fourth parts what are the four parts first part should be the on a daily basis whenever you get up there will be the one part of the gs target one topic give some particular days i have divided you can you can include one extra day or you can reduce if you find that you are comfortable in this area or you have done multiple revision and you can increase the number of days in the other topic i have divided a topic in the major area like the polity after that it will be the history after that it is geography and environment because geography and environment is always connected try to read in a connected manner okay so that it will complement and supplement each other this geography and this environment okay after that it will be the economics economy and then science and technology and international relation this international relation of the prelims will be totally based on the current affairs you don't have to go for the any of the static part if you have not covered till now if you have covered any of the class notes or anything just revise that class note single class note with the current affairs support of the current affairs that will be more than sufficient okay same for the science and technology maximum what you can do for the science and technology you can give uh, this uh, NCRT class 9th and 10th, a revision, two revision, but yes, this uh, has been given uh, minimum days, six days, but again, this will be both based on the this current affairs area. So, yes, the first part of your uh, days should be start with the GS paper. After that, simultaneously, you have to solve this uh, previous year of the question of the prelims from the same topic, whatever you are going to cover in this days okay after that you should divide if you have the some weakness in the csat you should give 30 minutes at 45 minutes on a daily basis and yes two hours 30 minutes for the current affairs this current affairs include the newspaper on a daily basis as well as the this uh, monthly current affairs of any institute any of the coaching more more or less they have the similar type of the content okay so just you have to down, download the soft copy if you are not able to uh, find the hard copy so this is for that monthly current affairs is comprehensively covered and if you are reading with that it will help you into the main as well you don't have to go for the separate study so if you are following the monthly current affairs please continue follow okay you don't have to shift to the pd365 if you are following you have to complete all this and if you have suspicion that yes there is some of the area that has been uh, must have been extra coverage in the pd365 what you can do you should download it PT365 and you should go through the monthly current affairs and PT365 topic wise and if you find something is extra in the PT365 only those page you should uh, uh, you should tick and that page you should solve later a uh, covered later okay so this should be the approach for the this newspaper second thing is the newspaper you should continue with the newspaper at least till the 5 to 10 of the may because i think by the 26th of uh, uh, if they will be not to uh, making that close the new uh, uh, discussion paper if they are adding one or two questions that doesn't matter okay because we know that the cutoff is this the cutoff is 88 okay for the this gs paper if you will uh, uh, go through that and do average of all this thing it will be 91 something like the 91 92 maximum okay so let's see that how many questions you need to solve if you are going to what should be the mindset whenever you are going for to appear whenever you are going to appear in this what should be the mindset for the this there are the hundred question and 200 marks two marks for each question okay so what is your expected what what is your uh, opinion at how many question we should attempt many will say that 100 out, out of 100 many will say 90 many will say at 80 70 it's depend upon the your accuracy level and yes the toughness of the paper it will you will get why the five ten papers available you are solving it will give you sense that what type of paper it is and in upsc you don't have to be panic in any case even it is the it is the egs question or the toughest question always you have chance that yes you have to appear between the 75 to 87 85 87 this should be in to the uh, when the paper is easy and this is the case when the paper is very tough okay 
so this should be the number of attempt so it should be the mindset that you are going with the sum of the question you are going to uh, you are going to uh, appear in the paper and sum of the question you don't have to attempt you are going with the uh, you are going with the choice of un not attempting 15 to 20 question this is your choice so whenever you see that this question i have never seen just enjoy that never get panic okay it should be your within your mind that you don't have to panic i was taking the uh, this uh, session last year of the uh, laksha batch and uh, yes there was lot of student who were who have so much potential i was thinking that they are going to make into the list but uh, yes when after the examination i called each of them and i find them yes many of them got panicked they do not able to get a good slip before the examination and that's why they uh, it resulted into the disaster so you have to be very careful now your schedule should be very proper you should you should follow a healthy diet as well as healthy sleep timing properly with and also you should align your mock test with the upsc timing like the 9 30 to 11 30 to 2 30 to 4 30 like that okay so this should be your approach you have to just appear uh attempt 75 question that should be in your mind and out of 75 if you are going to attempt to 52 correct so what will be your marks 104 okay and if there is the remaining question are incorrect so what is this we are about 21 and 2 by 3 14 so still you have the 90 marks in the toughest case your marks will be always 90 and in the egs case if it is you are going to attempt 85 to 87 and if you have 62 correct and yes in that case uh, near about 24 incorrect so what will be your marks 16 and into 2 uh, 1 to 4 and if you will reduce it'll, it will be 108 so yes you are always above the cutoff this is the scenario okay so please remember this is for the gs paper how much question you are going to attempt what should be the equivalency level okay so yes how should you uh, how you should cover this current affairs newspaper you should give at least one hour 30 minutes if you want to reduce i am making daily this uh, daily current affairs and i am covering this the hindu in a very detailed manner near about i cover most of the article and i refer the international uh, edition of the hindu that's bring the means they are very intensive let me show that the way i cover so this is the first page this is the second page this is the third page each page have some content i try to cover if i find anything i bring in my discussion this is the fifth page again this is the sixth page there is the pictures then faqs in general case it is always the editorial page and after that there is the text and context i cover those page as well in a very uh, detail manner and whatever I find that this is relevant for the prelims or means I discuss all the things so what you can do to save your time you can watch my videos you can just use the time uh, whenever you are doing the routine work like if you are uh, taking your lunch or dinner just keep your uh, earbud uh, in your uh, ear and yes all the headphone whatever you are using and you should do all the routine thing in that particular a a time you will able to cover and you should speed the speed of that uh, that your video 1.5 x something like that what 1.25 so it will save your time and in the evening 8 30 or 9 you should just sit down and just you should go with the the topic in the the hindu you should highlight the way i i i, I have highlighted so by the giving just 44 minutes you can cover this all the hindu and you will find that the there is very rich material rich content nothing can escape because the way i cover i myself give three hours to uh, i think uh, i analyze each and every area even line by line even this is the political news i go in the political news and something is relevant where for example this is the political news there uh, by the heading it is not relevant but whenever you go into the details you will find that yes here the idea is given that the 
GDP rate, the change in the GDP rate. Okay, so I bring all this thing uh, during the session. So it, it will help you in the revision as well. Multiple revision, same times. Nobody generally revise its newspaper, but it's also important. If you will revise and if you will listen this thing, it will remain in your mind for the longer time. Whenever you watch and you listen something that remain for the, you can retain for the longer time, and that will click in the when you will be attempting your question in the UPSC. So that should be the approach. You should give that much time beside that for the current affairs. Remaining time you should give for the uh, this monthly current affairs of any of the uh, institute, uh, reputed institute you can take and you should start uh, go going from the topic wise to topic wise. Means first if you are going from the this uh, Polity you are covering for the 10 15 days, you should go for the all the polity area of the last 12 days or 12 months. So, 12 months is more than sufficient for the current affairs. For example, the paper is on the 26th of May. So, if you are covering this from the May or the April 2023 to April. 2020, uh, 2024. So this 12-month is more than sufficient. You don't need for go for the 15 months or the 18 months or the two years. Most of the question that is covered from the this or 12 month, and maybe one or two question if they are asking. You cannot waste the time for the two question for the that much time. If you will cover this 12 month and revise multiple times, 90% of the question comes from this year. And if you are comfortable with this 90%, even 10% you are not able to solve, there is nothing, no issue, you will be in. Okay, so that should be your approach for uh, this, the duration of the month you should cover. And your newspaper, you should stop by the 20, uh, 10 of the May, maximum 5 to 10 of the May. Uh, okay, so it will help you to save the time so that you can dedicate this newspaper time into the other area of the this static part but yes in that particular time all all also you can continue with the listening the news analysis that i give on a daily basis my news analysis will continue in that particular time as well so this is the for the current affairs i hope i have covered this for the uppcs you have to make uh, you have to give a separate one hours and for the current affairs and uh, 45 minutes for the previous year of the UP pieces. What should be the duration of this? At least it should be the 15 to 20 years of the previous year. It will not take the time. Even in the 45 minutes, you can uh, you will be able to solve the 50 question of the each EU. So, yes, uh, by the 30 days, you will be able to solve the 15 EUs and there is the repetition of the many of the questions. So, it many a times in the 45 minutes, you will be able to solve whole paper. So that's why it is the average time that I have given one hour for the current affairs because the here you read the current affairs that is the conceptual in nature but here a bit factual. So many magazines like the region IS or the insight or the folk, uh, forum IS they do not cover the factual area like the sports who won the this award or the award in the area of such as the social or the artist or the some of the areas such as this uh, Sosti Samman for example they ask this question or the Oscar award so you need to remember the names okay so in that case you have to refer book like the Pratyokta therefore the monthly or the yearly whatever you get just you have to focus on the sports area sports news are there and in the sports news you don't have to go into the details just you need to know the final match and the who won the final who was the man of the match man of the series the place where it took place yes who are the leading player the such thing you you should know only for the final semi-final nothing else maximum semi-final mostly your focus should be in the final in each of the area and award also you should go with this and beside that one more thing the recent appointment on the some of the important areas okay like the who is the general secretary of the un or who is the head of the imf such question comes and you should know Besides that, you should also focus on the some of the report and index, what was the ranking of the India. Generally, one, two questions they also ask. So, this will be the on the one hour or two hours you should cut from the, this area. Like the fourth part you have divided, the first part you will give for the GS at least. It should be the five hours, six hours. 
or total it should be the 10 to 11 hours maybe if you are going to reduce you can cut from the one hour CEO you can shift that one hour for uh, to the hero till the 17th March from the 18th March you should resume you should uh, bring this one hour two hours to hero and hero now the question if comes that should I stop the uh, this option subject yes you should because only you will write the means when you are able to qualify this and if you are able to qualify cleanse your energy your confidence will be two times despite if you will be continue with the this means or uh, this optional thing and you are not able to get confidence it will be very uh, disastrous in your prelims examination so please be focused be careful about that okay so this should be the approach for the this okay it should be the parallel you should get this uh, previous year of the 15 years from the any of the publication and they give solution just solve on daily basis 50 60 70 question and this uh, do repeated revision of the sports news this index this uh, awards and the important um, uh, appointments that's done other thing is will be in the you are aligned with the UPSC preparation like the polity international relation all the conceptual area if you are covering this will help in that as well okay so five or five hours two hours 30 minutes it is will be the seven hour 30 minutes and this one hour 30 minutes so nine hours and two hours 11 hours so this is the 11 hours you have to dedicate you have to give because this is the competition if you will not give this 11 12 13 hours others will give and you have to do nothing just you have to get up in the morning just you have to study study go to the bed with the yeah with the uh, uh, some of the uh, satisfaction that i have achieved something and just prepare for the next day next day i will get up and i will go for the again this completion of all this schedule okay so i hope this current affairs i am clear this UP pieces i am clear how you have to cover then come to how you have to do deal this five hours on a daily basis what you have to do here i have divided 15 days i have given for the polity because the question that was asking 2000 or, or 23 14 question to uh, 2022 12 question then the 15 days I have given for that history for the 17 days because there you have to cover the ancient medieval art and culture as well as modern history. So you have to deal this ancient medieval and uh, this uh, art and culture simultaneously and separately you have to give this modern history. So out of this 17 days I have given uh, near about 8 days for the this ancient and medieval with the simultaneously art and culture and 5 days for the this uh, modern history then i have given 13 days for the geography 14 days for the environment 16 days for the economics and uh, yes five days for the science and technology so this will take you near about 80 days so you can complete by the 80 days maybe there could be the buffer of one two days you can i have given in your buffer as well three days of the buffer if there is the some days you are not feeling well and that days you are not able to complete your target in that case the buffer time will solve that what you have to do okay so whenever you are going for the polity i have given 15 days in 15 days by the 10 days you have to complete all the syllabus okay all the syllabus you have to cover you have to t study in a topic manner, manner like that you should start with the fund uh, this preamble after that you have maybe you are giving three hours you have completed after that you have solved the previous years of the questions or simultaneously at least six years you should search i will share you the separate this uh, separate um, a topic of the each of the years means polity i have separated this pi uh, pyqs uh, economic separated history separated i will share all this thing and if i forget please mail me just to uh, uh, remind me i will share okay uh, preamble after that fundamental rights it should be like this uh, after that you should solve this pyqs of the fundamental rights okay whatever the question comes individually you should move and there should be the comparison as well if you are reading a uh, fundamental right so you should also compare with the dpsp simultaneously and the fundamental duties i will as well what is the difference why it means logically you should go and each of the concept you should logically cover beside that you should also cover the, uh, like whenever you are covering the president so you can compare with the governor okay governor like 
it will reduce your time and it will make you more effective, your study more effective. Okay, like whenever you are reading for this uh, constitutional body, there is a similarity in so many bodies like the yes, uh, this election commission, CAG, yes, all they have some of the similarity or the differences, and you should compare that. What are the differences? Whenever you are studying, make the sometime chart that yes, this is the um, election commission. This is Finance Commission, this is CAG, other bodies, whatever the bodies, constitution body are there, you should compare and yes, they have the six years of the uh, term, they don't have the term, you should be comparing this as the five years, they can have the 62 years, 60 years, 65 years, something like that you should always compare, okay. So yes, in the 10 days you have to complete all this topic, 10 days you have to complete the topic, complete the topic. After that, what you have to do for the eleventh day on the morning, you have to sit with the, a mock test, mock paper. Okay, so mock paper. How many mock paper do you need? Total mock paper, I think, twenty-five to thirty, not more than thirty. Okay, so and seven years of the PYQs, you have to PYQs will be get completed with the syllabus, and after that, you have to at least complete two or three mock in the first phase for the each of the topic and after that go for the in the second phase remaining uh, you should uh, you should complete so what i wanted to tell you that after on the 11th days you should in the morning sit down with your one of the mock and yes this mock test you should you should solve any of the mock tests from the this market you don't have to join if you don't want to join there is no issue you can go into the market you will get this with a very low cost in the maybe they will give in 30 rupees one paper so 20 paper near about 600 or 800 something like that you can get 20 25 30 paper whatever the paper is available for this eu okay from the any of the top institute that is in the market okay so bring that or if you want to uh, uh, with diversity so what you can do 10 full length mock test of the one institute 10 for the other 10 for the other three type of mock test so that you could know uh, you can bring the diversity okay so on the 11th day you have to sit with the, this mock test you should give two hours for this mock test and focus on the polity because polity you have covered for the 10 days total focus should be on the polity and other areas you should just try to give uh, try to recall as much as possible get the conceptual clarity but the main timing you should give to the polity that has you completed even if you are able to solve in one hour or one hour 30 minutes you don't have to go with that. You have to follow the way you are going to appear in the UPSC. Don't compromise from the each of the mock tests to read that they are the real paper. Okay. After two hours completing that, you must be bringing this uh, solution explanation. Three hours you should give for the explanation. This matters because this help in the retaining, analyzing what is your weak area, what is your strong area, where you made the mistakes, why you made the mistakes. Okay, and here note down the your weak area and your strong area. Strong area for the next time whenever you attempt, you will start with this strong area so that you can get the confidence, you can get the more correct attempt. And weak area you have to revise. Only weak area and only highlighted area. Okay, in the revision it is not that you are going to read line by line. Even in the first revision, in those 10 days, I hope that you all have completed all the syllabus. If something is there, you should wait for that. You should accommodate in these days. Okay. So, if you are uh, going to revise, it is not line by line. Only highlighted area where you have the confusion and wherever you are still not able to uh, get clarity. Mark that you can discuss with any of your mentor wherever you are uh, taking your classes. If you are not finding the mentor, you can uh, send me a mail. I will be provided, I will be always there for the discussing all these things. And please don't hesitate to uh, mail me, I will be always there. Maybe it could be delay for the two, three days, but yes, I will be there to discuss all these things. Okay, so weak area you should note down. Okay, after first mock, again, maybe it will take two plus three, five hours. Again, in the afternoon by the one, you should sit down for the, again, second mock. Give for the two hours, again three hours for the analysis, two hours for the appearance, three hours for the again weak area and the strong area. Note down whether it is common again. Okay. 
by the next morning again you have to sit down in the morning at the uh, morning and appear for the, this third mock for the two hours and again three hours for the this analysis weak area and strong area you have to analyze for the at least three hours this three hours is very important this after this three you will have the clarity that this is my weak area this is my strong area wherever you find your weak area please go and revise again and again for the remaining uh, three days from the uh, uh, 11th half 12th 13th 14th just revise into those area three four days and after that again on the 15th come up with the one of the mock test of and here again in all the mock tests, despite it will be the full length, you have to focus on the polity area because polity you have covered. And other area just do as a practicing the recalling. Don't have, you don't have to worry. Whatever the marks you are getting, it doesn't matter. Until the final examination has been done, you are in the race. You don't have to worry consistency and yes focus area should be that you have to appear in the mock test you have to uh, you have to revise and then again again this weak area and strong area you have to capitalize by the 15th you should appear in the mock again finalize that what is your weak area and what is your strong area note down in the that same three paper put it in the side for the second phase whenever you are going to in the second phase you have to give all these three, four days on the, this weak area and you have to turn down pages wherever you have a strong area just in, with the cursory view. Okay, just you have to, a board view you have to give. Okay, so by that you will be completing this. In this second phase you have to complete, uh, you have, uh, whatever you have analyzed, uh, this is your weak area, this is your strong area. Just you have to note down and when we will start the second phase, there we have given already 20 days from the 6th May to the 25th of the May. And in this time, what you have to uh, do, whatever you have noted down, uh, this is the weak area. Just you have to focus on the, that multiple division, maybe for, uh, for the polity. Your weak area was the emergency provision or the parliamentary committee or the local body. You have to focus on three areas and other area just you have to turn the pages where you have the strong area. So there already you will uh, able to give at least three days uh, for the each of this after the three days for the six and one more uh, uh, in the three days, four days. What you have to do, you have to solve one paper as well. Two or the three days or after the completion of all these things uh, in the third on the third day, what you can do, you have to bring one more more mock test and you have to solve so by this you will be solving the four uh, four test for the each of the topic and by the end of this sixth paper you will have the 25 mock test as well full length mock test okay and yes you don't have to worry about anything whatever the marks is getting you don't have to worry just you have to turn the pages wherever the, you are getting the less mark or the incorrect attempt just to have to revise that area so the, you should focus on the uh, this uh, a revision of the weak area and you have to capitalize on the uh, your strong area so this is uh, you have to do same for this uh, history as well for the history you have uh, we have given the 17 days 16 17 days out of that you uh, you have to bring the completion of all this topic in the uh, 13 days and further we have divided that eight days you should give for the art and culture medieval and ancient history and this should go parallel let me uh, show you that how you need to go with this uh, this should be oh, one second yes this should be like uh, uh, ancient and medieval ancient and medieval so Whatever the period is you are covering, art and culture will go parallelly. Art and culture. Art and culture. For example, if you are uh, uh, covering Indus Valley Civilization, okay. So, in that period, after completion of this topic, you should go in art and culture and whatever area that has been belonging from the IBC Indus Valley uh, Civilization, you should cover parallelly. Okay. Go into the second for the uh, uh, Janpada area, whatever the gen in the Janpada area, art and culture has been there. Maybe caves and uh, yes, other thing uh, like the 
uh, rock addicts of the soka whatever the uh, thing is there or the modern period so all the modern period this uh, art and culture in the same manner medieval period you have should go with the art and culture of the same type so please focus on this area and after that you have to go for the modern indian history you have to complete all this thing uh, of art and culture and medieval by the uh, eight in the eighth day and after that five days for the modern history then you should go for the full length test in the full length test what you have to do you have to focus on the polity because already you have covered and now history two thing will be focus area other thing just recall and just try to give your best in the other thing but the focus area more analysis more time you should spend to the this polity already you have covered then history so two topic you have to go parallelly and again in the polity if you are finding the some of the additional area where you have the weakness or the you should note down in the some uh, a particular uh, paper a one paper you should be separately uh, you should made and here you should write the weak area and strong area please do that this will be a, uh, this will take a, uh, a effort from your side but it will be so much helpful okay so on the 13th day you have to go for the first mock revise analyze for the three hours for the uh, first mock after that go for the second mock after five six hours you will be completing you will be knowing all the weak area strong area second mock okay next day third mock okay and after that you have to go for the revision whatever the, after the this uh, 13 14th you should uh, uh, appear in the mock again whatever you have note down from the weak area you should go for the, those weak area on the 15th 16th and the 17th revise and on the 17th or the 18th you have to just appear into the one last mock and just write down for the second page whatever has been left out here that is weak area you have to give three days in the second phase okay so you have done two areas now you are done with the near about 25 questions because 12 13 from the polity and 13 from the uh, overall the uh, overall numbers of the uh, questions as as the compared to the whole UPSC paper. Now you should go for the geography. Again, we have given eight days, seven, eight days for the revision, revise all this, particularly focus on this um, NCRT 11th and 12th. This is very important. After that, on 10th, 11th, 12th, or the 10th, 11th, you should focus on the, this uh, uh, appearing in the mock test in the same manner as you appeared. And now, whenever you are going to appear in this mock, history polity and geography will be focus area whatever you are uh, completing you it should be focus area in the last by reaching the science and technology you will have the completion of near about 85 percent 90 percent of this uh, if you compare if you include the current affairs and other it will be like the hundred percent so you have to complete this after geography you should shift to the environment environment is always uh, environment should always come after the geography because they are connected because whatever you read in the environment like the climate and yes monsoon forest so in a specific manner you study in the environment yes the uh, niche and uh, yes different species living in this forest uh, endangered danger their cr critical position all this comes under this so after the environment same procedure you have to follow nine days you have to revise after that 10th 11th off you have to appear in the mock then you should go for the uh, revision of whatever the weak area you have after that you have to in the last one mock test so three to four mock for the each topic you are uh, you are covering so by uh, by that without uh, uh, enhancing the pain uh, burden you will uh, you will complete at least 20 25 mock parallelly and at the same time when you are doing revision the nine days in this nine days you should complete the six year of this uh, uh, up uh, ups previous year of the question paper like the from the each of the topic geography all the geography sections of the previous year question you should uh, complete at the very initial stage so that you should know that what is the pattern of ups and in the same manner you should revise uh, uh, you should focus on the revision maybe if you finding that in the previous year the fundamental rights has been the dominating part Part, or then the geography monsoon has been the dominating part so your more days should be dedicated to the these area where the UPSC prelims is asking more and more questions so 
before the starting at least 6 hours you should spend on the analysis of the last 6 years of the questions from the this topic. I will share this uh, in the MS Word to for the each topic with you. Uh, just to ha if I forget, just mail me at already I have shown my uh, email ID uh, Amit Gupta at 2603 at gmail uh, com and uh, patriotic is okay. So after involvement, you should go for the economics again. For the economics, the major focus area should be the NCRT 11th uh, 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 Indian uh, economy and class 12th, uh, 12th macroeconomics. And whatever notes you have referred, just refer for the revision. And after that, you should focus on the revision of this for the 11 days. In, 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 you should uh, this economics is more based on the current affairs so current affairs is also uh, is current affairs should go parallelly for the each of the topic uh, did i guide you that how you have to focus on this uh, current affairs for example if you are if you are revising this uh, polity section so in the revision section this uh, theory should go Parallelly, you should for the this uh, monthly current affairs, you should cover all the polity area in this 19 days that you have allotted. So it should be the from the recent to the back side into the backward move. Okay, so let me explain that what I want to uh, convey you. If you have not studied any of the uh, monthly current affairs, just download this monthly current affairs uh, from the I think January. Uh, edition January's current affairs must have been January 2024. Okay, so January 2024, then December, December 2024, then November 2024. Okay, so by this you have to proceed in this manner, and you should reach to the April. 2023 uh, it should be 2023 by mistake I said 2024 uh, 2023 2023 so from the January to this now when the further the new uh, monthly current affairs will be there for the February, March April you have to cover parallelly but it should be in the topic wise manner whenever you are covering this polity section you should complete from the January 2024 to April 2023 all the polity so this previous year and this current affairs will go in a parallel manner so please remember that okay so economics additional thing you have to do you have to cover the budget i have already taken the session on the budget if you want to save your time again listen whenever you are doing the routine work my budget session on the english as well as english both version is available okay this year they have not provided the economy survey, so you it is good for you. You don't have to uh, go for that lengthy uh, lengthy document. So leave that. Then science and technology class 19th. Uh, this uh, NCRT after that whatever the uh, whatever the material class notes you have done that is more than sufficient. You don't have to go for the lot of resources. One resource is more than uh, enough. Again, in the five days you have to complete this current affairs as well. International relation is totally based on the current affairs. So please focus on that. Okay. So this is all about with respect to GS paper. Now comes the CSAT. So we have allotted CSAT timing for the uh, 45 minutes on a daily basis for those who have the weakness. Otherwise, those who have the strong area, they can easily getting 80, 85 marks. You, you should just uh, practice once in a week. But those and even the only just you have to focus on the previous year of the question paper. Previous of the UPSC question paper and mostly uh, one uh, one mock uh, paper once in a uh, uh, 15 days from now onwards. Okay, two three at the time of the examination M means it is uh, during the 10 days preceding to the examination. But those who have the weakness, you should focus, and those who even who have the control on CSAT, you should have a better strategy for the CSAT. What is the CSAT needed? As per the pattern, 80 questions are being asked and it is for the 200 marks. Okay. So each question is for the 2.5 marks. This is the, yes. You have to get 66 marks to get, uh, to be qualified. So 66, to, so what should be the maximum number of attempts as per you? Okay. 
so many of things that all the questions will be attempted to know this is the utmost incorrect and yes uh, false and uh, yes this is not the thing you have to follow what you have to follow you have to select a number of question at it should be maximum 50 55 not more than that okay and after that you should work on the accuracy so in the this csat there are the three sections one is the comprehension second is reasoning and third is mathematics Okay, so near about they ask 30 to 35 questions from the reasoning, near about 20 to 25 questions from the this, and 20 to 25 questions from this. So 20 to 25, 20 to 25, such like thing, and total is the 80. Okay, so think that you have attempted 50 questions. Out of 50, 36, you have attempted 40, uh, 54 or 51 think about the 51 okay out of 51 36 is correct and uh, yes remaining how many incorrect for 15 are incorrect so what will be the your marks 2.5 90 and uh, what will be the incorrect 15 2.5 by 3 12.5 okay near about to uh, yes 87 it will be 77 marks 77.5 something like that okay so you are well above the cut uh, the uh, passing marks so if you are attempting near about 51 so your attempt should be like the 45 to 51 and you should have the clarity that yes i have to attempt first this comprehension then reasoning and after that in the turning the pages if you find something easy from the math section then only go for the math section go with the prior mindset that i will have to just attempt from the comprehension or the reasoning because generally uh, whenever you are solving the mathematics question there will be chances that you will stuck into the between but whenever you start with the comprehension maybe it could take 30 seconds one minute more but you are going to tick and after that you are going to uh, further uh, move to the next question but whenever you go for the mathematic emotion attached and you think that this if i have invested this much of the time i should solve and then go this is a very incorrect approach for the csat first priority comprehension in the comprehension during the preparation what you have to do you have to just focus on the keywords like the what is the inference you should know the correct meaning you should also try to attempt the previous year of the question paper and match with this question paper that a uh, question that why i am opting for this option c why ups has given for b for the inception um, in um, inference or the logic the uh, the keywords like the logical reach of this message what is the message of the author what is the conclusion what is the assumption so you should know this uh, what is the meaning why upsc uh, want to uh, what the upsc has the way to achieve this answer many times we make incorrect attempt whenever you apply our own information you don't have to bring whatever given in the paragraph just use that paragraph okay so this is the case reasoning you should practice on the reasoning area like the dias and other thing whatever they ask like the direction question you should practice that you are going in the uh, um, east turn um, right direction then left then right then left then and this is the six kilo or six meter five meter so you should learn skilling is the important so this should be the way you should have the clarity that your attempt should be this number of questions and during the two hours whenever you are giving the mock test even in the ups you don't have to count how much how many number of the questions just you have to attempt 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 yes and yes just you should have the mindset yes near about this number of the question i have uh, attempted and continuously you don't have to stuck you have don't have to count again and again just in the between just get uh, fix something in the mind yes how many number of the question i have done just in the cursory view that yes near about i have done uh, 40 42 uh, just i have to uh, bring uh, uh, i have to attempt four more questions so this should be the your approach so number of the question you should have the clarity you should uh, you should have the clarity that what should be the approach the first 
a priority should be comprehension then reasoning and the last mathematics for the mathematics you have to give, uh, attempt 5 to 10 questions maximum even if you will not attempt you are focusing on that this will help you to reaching 45 51 easily yes 4 5 questions on the mathematics they are very simple and whenever you uh, go through the cursor review if you find that yes uh, you are very comfortable with these questions only then attempt in this daily basis that we have uh, allotted 45 minutes what you have to do you have to opt for the one area comprehension and you have to solve 20 25 question on a daily basis for 25 uh, 45 minutes and you should match with the answer key of the upsc please download the question paper of the last six seven years answer key and match and whenever you are deviating you should learn that how why upsc is opting for the c why i am opting for the d or the a so you should align with the UPSC thinking process with respect to this and in between on the every 7 days or the 10 days you should go for the one mock test paper. So, uh, 5 to 6 mock test paper is more than sufficient, 4 to 5 is more than, after 6 previous year questions 5 to 6 mock is more than sufficient, just focus on that, revise this uh, previous year question paper, solve many times so that you could have the uh, good uh, alignment with the UPSC pattern. So this you should uh, do and in the last uh, 10 days just two mock tests will be sufficient and uh, 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 remaining time you should uh, revise whatever you have done analysis of the previous mock tests and also in the mathematics area you should focus on the common area like the uh, question uh, like the uh, areas uh, volume and uh, parameters and uh, um, time and distance okay something like that this easy question that is the actual level of the 9th 10th maximum okay otherwise if they are asking tough question like the permutation combination probability you should you don't have to worry you you should have the prior mindset that i will leave such question so this should be the pattern for the opting for the this uh, CSAT who are comfortable they can just uh, use this 45 minutes to uh, cover this GS or the current affairs those who are not uh, 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 comfortable with CSAT you should give that much uh, time okay so after completion of this one round in 80 days you should go focus and from the 6th May you should start again giving in the same pattern three days for the this polity then uh, yes history then in uh, geography, environment, economics, so this should be the pattern, okay. Uh, for the mock test, any of the mock tests is more than sufficient, okay. So this is the thing you have to do, you don't have to be panic, be, be, be very careful, be, be healthy, uh, you should uh, moderate your, uh, your uh, this uh, uh, days timing and time management, please talk less to the anyone of any just you should focus on the study 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 okay even you should not discuss that anything beyond the doubts and query if you have the some conceptual clarity uh, issue with the conceptual clarity you can discuss with the dis uh, your friend or you can mail me i will uh, call you back i will be always available for the mentoring session or the any doubt or any query just you have to mail and wait for the two three days maybe i will immediately uh, try to respond maybe sometimes if I, I don't have the time i will take one or two days but certainly i will give the uh, give back the uh, you call okay so this is all about the most important thing that you should know is the what is the demand of the upsc what what upsc want do it want you to be uh, like a rabbit or the tortoise upsc want you to be like an ant do you know what is the characteristic of the ant you have to inculcate within yourself because like the ant whenever you rise whenever you are right and here you will reach and you will fall again you have to go you have to rise you have to fall so this is the way the ant ant cover its parts and reach its highest on the peak okay she doesn't have anything but what the characteristics she has she take the responsibility the weight that is two times three times four times than the weight of that so you have to take the responsibility and the same time it's know that despite i will reach on the peak i could fall but i have to reach again on this the same is the upsc do you know when you will start writing your 
answer means the uh, answer because after writing uh, for the first time you will see your answer and you will feel what the rubbish thing I have thought but yes you have to motivate yourself again you have to get new question you have to write the same will happen when you will go for the first mock for the prelims out of 120 will be the correct 60 70 will be the incorrect many times 70 okay and your marks will be like the 15 20 30 you will be not able to rise beyond the 35 40 but again and again you have to come back you have to revise and you have to go because again again you have to fall even it's happen when you will be qualifying with prelims again you will fall again you will have to reach to the mains you will fall in the mains you will again fall from the very basics very origin very start and again you have to rise this is the way you have to cover whole path many a times even in the interview the people just go and they fail to make the their name into the final list so this is the way you have to do because UPSC want this characteristic because even after the qualifying this examination when you will go like the district magistrate or the uh, superintendent of, uh, of the police there, there will be a lot of difficulty there will be the uh, leaders, political parties, goons, contractors lot of people will come and they will try to push you back you have to fall you have to get up in the morning and you have to smile and you have to go again face the same thing so this is the demand and by that here on this platform I will guarantee other thing or not but one thing I can guarantee I will make you like the end the characteristic I will help you in the inculcating because I I myself is an end because now here I'm standing in front of you just recently I fall the organization where I was working, there, there was also the king maker, there are the contractors, they are there, sometimes they don't like you, the same happens with me, the, the, that king maker, that the, the, the jamidas that consider themselves as the jagirdar of that particular thing, he's, uh, say, he, uh, he kept two of his people behind me that yes, push but they were not able to do that because I was rising like the end going towards the peak but he, did, he didn't accept that with his two this muscle man all they came and they tried to just push me very hard that I will be there on the I will plunge here they thought that I will never get up never rise but the very immediately because I knew that I am the end I don't have any option I am not uh, twice that I have a single path and it is a straight I have to go I am not the rabbit I have to run fast I have to be slow I have to be take the responsibility and again I have to go on to the that top yes we will like a group of end here we will create some beautiful future but yes we will create and you will have to follow all this thing you have to inculcate this characteristic and we will there one day where everything will be like the means we will be at the pinnacle okay so that is our aim from the tomorrow onwards you have to learn from the morning you have to make your schedule you have to follow in the night whenever you are going to bed yes there will be the a sense that as I fall to reach my aim but yes next day again you have to rise and one day we will be at a position the or at the that dream position okay so by here I will conclude my session and yes thank you for joining this session and giving your precious time all the best Jai Hind जब नन्ही चीटी दाना लेकर चलती है, चढ़ती दीवारों पर सौ बार फिसलती है, चढ़कर गिरना, गिरकर चढ़ना न खरता है, मन का विश्वास रगों में साहस भरता है, आखिर उसकी मेहनत बेकार नहीं होती, कोशिश करने वालों